Old School is back. The Legendary Axe is the game Dave and I will be playing. Dave, have you played this video game before? I haven't. This is going to be the first time I'm playing it. I've seen it before, but I've never played it before. So let's push run and let's give it a go. Okay, let's do this. So, okay. wow, look at this. This looks awesome. Wow. This looks super cool. So, yeah, guys, sorry, um, or apologies for old school missing for the last week or two. We've had stuff going on, but we are back on the case for you with the Legendary X. I wonder if... I was going to say, I wonder if the developer um, loved the Golden Axe series and was like, yeah, let's let's throw the word axe in our game and have some Golden <laughs> Axe-y kind of stuff. But it, it's not the case <laughs> by the looks of things. Look at this no, massive looks, spider. That's horrible. Looks like a completely separate entity. Basically, your your main weapon is an axe, and that's what they thought. They would just call it Legendary Axe. Okay, I'm gradually chopping the spider to bits, but also getting hurt at the same time. So it's a platformer, action, action platformer of sorts. Yeah, almost like a brawl em up to a degree, action platformer slash brawl em up. This looks amazing, man. It looks it looks hard as balls, though. Yeah, it's, it's what die, happens when, when you've got me that's not played this game, and the same as when you've played games you haven't played before. It's super tough. Yeah, it, it's tough. It's tough, especially when you've got to do the commentary over the game and that kind of thing. You know how it rolls, guys. These videos are about showing you bits of video games from the past. It's not about... Um, it's not about finishing them or long plays. There's other channels for that. Yeah, absolutely. I would have loved this game as a kid. Yeah, same as this would have this would have brought, drawn my attention because the graphics look really really good. You got uh, got those bones, man. Press up on the D-pad, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I swear to God, I tried that. There we go. How is it to play? Is it is it fiddly or is it, it okay? Good feels good it's responsive not too responsive but responsive and it's very positive you know when your character's actually swinging and hitting it's very positive yeah, yeah. straightforward the, uh, because of course it's the turbo graphics so you've only got a couple of buttons the music is fantastic it really is it really is for the turbo graphics or pc engine as, as some of you may know it we always say this on the channel uh, or rather on the old school series so guys if you are a regular apologies for repeating myself here but if you are a newcomer the turbo graphics or the pc engine was kind of a hybrid of a console it was a bit of a strange beast dave wasn't it yeah it was a bit of an 8 plus 16 bit combined i think i'm trying to remember which way around it is i think the graphics is 16 bit and the cpu is only 8 bit yeah that's the way around it is so i've pulled this up on wikipedia guys live kind of thing the legendary yeah. axe is a horizontal platform video game for the turbo graphics 16 it was developed and published by victor musical industries i've oh, never victor. heard of them so, so victor <laughs> in other words J jvc if we're talking victor oh of course yeah. i loved jvc <laughs> i had a jvc hi-fi and it was awesome i loved jvc yeah, I think I think it's Victor Industries, and you're talking music. I'm sure it's JVC. So uh, reception, guys. Uh, the legendary acts received high praise and accolades among video game reviewers, and it received positive preview coverage and anticipation for the Turbo Graphic 16's launch. This is a launch game. Launch game. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I've got, I've got um, the two bears. Wow, this uh, CMVG, which is a uh, computer and video games. It was a magazine I yeah. bought a lot as a kid. I know you did, Dave. It got 96% yeah. out of... 96%? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say out of 100. Everyone knows 96% means. And uh, it had 9s out of 10s everywhere else. A couple of 8s. Uh, this was a good game. Very, very yeah. well received. And uh, yeah, this is my kind of game, mate. Give, give it one more try. Get to the boss. Yeah, I'll... I'll give it another go. That was the sort of end of level one boss, I think. Let's go again. Here we go. Ah, oh, that music, man. The music's really, really I... catchy. Yeah, going back to the TurboGrafx-16 or, or the PC Engine, um, I, I wish it rivaled the NES and the SNES. The SNES? The NES and the Master System um, more than it did here in the UK. Yeah, because this one... I'm not sure when. When did they release this? Was it? Or, or maybe, or maybe the Mega out? Drive. Maybe the Mega Drive yeah. than SNES. But I, I just wish it was more prominent in our. I, I just wish it was in more people's homes. You know. 
Yeah, same as, because I think it did come out in Europe. I think you corrected me last time we did a video on this, on, on the Turbo Graphics. It, it, yeah, it, it came out in France, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I'm getting my ass kicked as usual. Yeah, yeah this looks, this looks hard bears. as balls. Yeah, it came yeah. out in France. It was known as the PC Engine. But i got to get this right, guys. I'm going to have loads of people shouting at the TV going, no, no, no. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it was called the PC Engine in France and Japan. And it was yeah. called the TurboGrafx-16 in the US. Is that right? Yes. That's my understanding of it, too. Yeah, it was. Because I didn't know it was called the TurboGrafx as a kid. I just used to call it. And my brother did, who's also crazy on video games, guys. I always reference Matt, my brother, in these in these videos. Very similar age to me. But um, he, yeah. we, we knew it was a PC Engine. That's what we would call it, the PC Engine. Same I was, and all the, I was all the videos I saw. With it. All the videos you saw on TV, like Bad Influence, they refer yes. to it as the PC Engine as well. I'm going to get killed. Yeah, this, I'm going to die. This is, a, this is a toughie, man. This is... This is these games were hard, though, back in the day. They were hard because it gave you uh, replayability. Here we Yay. go. Dave's done it. Here it's we go. Well the first done, level. Yeah, zone one. Yeah, it does look There's tough. A strategy it replenishes to... your energy. Yeah, sorry. What was your strategy there? The strategy for the bears is when you hit them, they lurch forward, so you have to move back a bit of a distance to stop them from hitting okay. you, and then you, can, and then you can go after them again. Oh, cool. An underground level. Oh, listen to that bloody music, guys. I know I'm like a broken record, but it's so good. Sounds like an awesome soundtrack from something like the NES. It really does sound good. Yeah. It That's actually it has more of. depth to it. It has far more depth to it than a NES track would have, though, man. It even sounds more like a sort of Genesis track. Was the sound oh, chip wow. any good on the PC Engine? I think it's decent. Yeah, I do think it's decent. Oh, oh my god, look at it. It's just throwing enemies at you left, right, and centre, man. This looks tough. This is like a 2D Dark Souls or something. There's enemies <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, it does. This is crazy. If you want a lovely 8 slash 16 bit challenge, play Legendary Axe. Yeah, this is cool, guys. And uh, I'm glad we featured this on Old School. It was Dave's choice this week. Look out for more content coming to the channel, guys. We will. Be focusing on old school again as he falls into the lava. <laughs> what a way and to obviously, end. <laughs> retro football and all loads of other stuff. So, uh, as always, thank you for joining us, and we'll speak to you all soon. Take care.